Hey everyone, this is Joe. I'm the Digital Astronomer. Thank you for tuning in to my channel again today. This week we're going to look at a really neat object, Messier 8, the Lagarde nebula, which happens to be one of only two emission nebulas that you can see with the naked eye in the night sky. Stick around and we're going to take a little deeper look at this incredible object. Okay, here's my image of the Lagoon Nebula, Messier 8. Um, to tell you a little bit about what you're looking at here, this is a star-forming region of interstellar gas. So this is mostly made up. Most of the red that you're seeing here is hydrogen gas. This is located in the constellation Sagittarius. And this has the distinction of being one of only two emission nebulas that you can potentially see uh, with the naked eye, the other being the great um, nebula in Orion. Now, let me show you where this is located to give you a little bit of an idea. This is in Stellarium. If I flip over here, this is uh, late August of 2020. I'm looking towards the south. And uh, you'll notice here that I'm, I'm kind of looking in towards the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And if I begin to zoom in, you'll see there are a lot of nebula here. Some of them are quite famous. If I moved up to the north a little bit, the Eagle Nebula is right up here. This is the Great Sagittarius uh, Star Cloud, um, or the, the small uh, Sagittarius Star Cloud. Here's the large Sagittarius Star Cloud. And basically, if I can find Caus Borealis and move to the right, that's where you're going to find the Lagoon Nebula. Now, for you to see this in um, with the naked eye, you're going to have to be in an incredibly dark sky situation. Basically, if you can't see the Milky Way, you're not going to be able to see the Lagoon Nebula. For me, if, I, if you were at my house, I'm looking south. This not only sits very low in the sky, which makes my guiding a little bit difficult, but I'm also looking right in the direction of the nearest large town, which is really just six miles across uh, from me, which is Paducah, Kentucky. So basically, I'm in. This is just in a very light, polluted, difficult area. But I'm pretty happy with the picture. This was a picture made up of 84 four minute subframe. So that's about five and a half hours worth of total imaging. I uh, stacked it with flats and darks and um, this is the picture that I came out with. Some of you are uh, have uh, sent me questions asking me about the equipment that I used. I shot this with a or an Orion ED80T on a Skywatcher HEQ5 mount and then I used a ZWO-183MC Pro camera. And so that gives you the technical details. Now, let's talk about the cool stuff, all right? Again, this is a, an emission nebula. It's located about 4,100 light years away from Earth. You will notice that this is a very active region of star formation. In fact, uh, right here uh, in the not quite in the middle, but just off to the center just a little bit, is a uh, star cluster. And these are all very, very young, very massive stars that were created out of this dust. In fact, I'll show you in a moment that new stars are being formed right here in this picture. You can actually see the embryos. I'll, I'll show you that in just a moment. But um, uh, th that, by the way, this star cluster is NG6530. It gets its name, the Lagoon Nebula, from these dark regions. And somebody has said these look like uh, lagoons running between sandbars. And so if you use your imagination, you can kind of see what they're talking about here. The other really neat thing about this object is if I move in just a little closer, look at these dark... Uh, blotches right here. This is what's known as a Bach 
globule. Now, again, I told you this is an active area of star formation. And what you're looking at there in that little circle is actually what we could think of as either a baby star or maybe even better, an embryonic star. This is gas that is collapsing in and beginning to form a brand new star. So you see here, these are stars that have already been born sometime way back in the past. This is a star that is in the process of being formed right in front of our eyes. Now, Bach globules, globules are named after the astronomer Bart J. Bach. And um, so there's several of these here, by the way. There's one here. Um, uh, there, there's several of them in the picture. Here's another Bach globule. Here's one over here, I think. Uh, this is probably one down in here. These are all areas where new stars are being formed. This little area down here almost looks um, like the uh, Pillars of Creation over in Messier 16. But uh, again, you can kind of see the fascinating area of, um, of nebulosity here and just some of the turbulence that's happening here as new stars are being carved out of this incredible area of hydrogen gas and other elements. All right, real quickly, um, this was first observed uh, way back in 1654 by an Italian astronomer, and he put it in his catalog later on in 1680. Uh, uh, Jane, or John uh, Flamesteed added it into his catalog because he had found it apart from anyone else, uh, uh, from the Italian. And then later, Charles Messier came in and put it in his catalog of things that are not comets. And so today we call it Messier 8 or the Lagoon Nebula. This is a really fascinating area of the sky. I encourage you to get out if you have a pair of binoculars or a small telescope. Take a look at this. It's well worth the time just to spend some time observing the incredible um, objects that are in the night sky. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, take a moment, click on, on subscribe to my channel, and then share it with your friends if you don't mind. I would really appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in this week. Just a quick reminder, if you enjoyed this video, please help support me by clicking on thumbs up and share. Thank you.